You've likely heard about it or maybe you've seen it on the news, but what exactly is the dark web? I'm Julie Parisi here today with Dove Lerner. He's the security research lead at Sixkill. Dove spends his days researching the deepest parts of the internet where people's activity is anonymous. So Dove, let's start with some background here. What exactly is the dark web? Well, Julie, if the internet is a city, I would say the dark web is the shadowy back alleys. It's a lot of people up to no good, a lot of stuff going on there that the average web browser just doesn't want to associate with. The dark web is a network that is part of the internet, but is only accessed through Tor. Tor stands for the Onion Router. It's a browser that you can download online. It's a build on Firefox. And once you have Tor, Tor will completely scramble your identity and your location, anything about your computer. And once you have Tor, you can access dark web sites. So what's the difference then between the dark web and the deep web? So the dark web, every website in the dark web ends with dot onion. Um, so that onion again for the onion router. And the websites, it's just a normal websites that are accessed through this special browser. The deep web includes any network that's accessible from the internet, but restricted. So it includes university networks because for university network, you need a login and then you can access whatever internal resources from the university. It also includes Telegram or QQ groups or, or WhatsApp. So the deep web is, is very broad and is also mostly legitimate in the dark web. The onion sites, those are a little bit problematic. So what kinds of sites are those then on the dark web? Sixkill has three categories for understanding, uh, categorizing a dark website. The first we call credit card markets, which are sites that steal stolen credit cards. That's by far the most commerce good on the dark web. Uh, just in November alone, this last November, we identified 33 million credit cards being sold on the dark web. That's a tremendous amount of credit cards. That's a higher population than many, many countries in the world. The second is markets, marketplaces. Those sell basically anything you can imagine, usually illegal items, weapons, drugs are the primary ones, but also other banned substances. And we identified 189,000 items sold in markets in November. The last one is forums, which forums are just message groups. People can post whatever they want. Forums have topics, forums have languages, forums have different categories of, uh, where, where people chat and they can chat about things that are very benign or they can chat about things that are very illegal. Uh, we identified 138,000 forum posts, not including replies, just posts um, uh, in November. And over 10% of those were tagged as malware, meaning people are discussing how to attack, how to hack, how to infect other computers. That's all very interesting. And Dove, thank you so much for taking the time to explain this to us today. My pleasure. For more information on Sixkill or to check out some of the company's latest research, you can visit cybersixkill.com.